General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Defense Staff, has pledged to end the insecurity in Kaduna State, Nigeria, and assured that the armed forces are committed to bringing the situation to an end. Musa made this pledge during a visit to the Kaduna State Government House, where he emphasized the importance of Nigerians taking ownership of the challenges in the country and emphasized that the insecurity challenges is not solely the responsibility of Kaduna military or police. Governor Ubasani, however, assured Musa of his administration's commitment to maintaining a cordial relationship with security agencies and fostering interstate collaboration in the fight against terrorism and banditry in Kaduna State. What is going on now is just a matter of time. And I know um, the way we are going about it, uh, we will see this to soon be over. We will sit down and talk sometime that there was a time that there was kidnapping, there was robbery, there was this, there was that, and now everybody is enjoying the peace. We all grew up knowing how peaceful Kaduna, Kaduna has been. And now the trying times we are going through, uh, for me, I believe, is just momentary. And we are going to get through over them. And I assure you that the armed forces will continue to give you all the necessary support that is required, wherever it is, whatever it takes. We have lost a number of individuals, both officers and soldiers, all over. But that is just to tell you that the military is here for everybody. All over the country, um, the military is represented by Nigeria. And what we want to say is that it is important that Nigerians take ownership of the challenges we have in the country. It is not a challenge for Kaduna alone. It is not a challenge for the military or for the police. Everybody has a role to play. We would like to renew our appeals for the prolonged stay of the special forces in the ongoing campaign against banditry and terrorism. I similarly want to highlight the need to expand the operations of Operation Safe Haven in Southern Kaduna general area due to the challenges around Zangwan Kata, Kaura, Kaura and Sangha local governments. Such an expansion will go a long way in containing threats and consolidating the ongoing efforts in those areas. Similar measures are required in Bilingwari general areas to restrict bandits and terrorists from using the Kaduru, Kuyambana, and Kamuku forests as a refuge or hideout. Most importantly, they will further constrict the corridors connecting Bilingwari with neighboring states like Zampara, Niger, and Kazina for news by the criminals. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.